Let's be honest, dealing with SIM cards used to feel like surgery. You'd be poking at your phone with a pin, trying not to launch that tiny plastic chip across the room and praying your phone picked it up on the first try. Thankfully, times have changed. We've moved on from that plastic square to something way more convenient, the eSIM. And with Mint Mobile, activating one is way easier than you'd think. Whether you're completely new to Mint or just switching over from a physical SIM, this video will walk you through exactly how to activate your eSIM. Now, if you don't have Mint, then you can can use the links in the description to get yourselves the best available deal on all their plans, so check those out if you're interested. Now, Mint supports eSIM on most modern phones, and there are a few solid reasons why using one is a great move. For starters, it's faster. Instead of waiting days for a SIM to arrive in the mail, you can activate your service within minutes. It's also super convenient if you're someone who travels or wants to run two phone numbers on one device. You can easily have one line for personal use and another for work, both active at the same time. Before anything else, you'll want to check if your phone supports eSIM. Most newer iPhones, starting with the iPhone XS and XR do. That includes the SE, second generation and newer, all the way up to the latest models. If you're an Android user, you're still in luck. Google Pixels from the Pixel 4 onward supports eSIM, and so do many Samsung Galaxy models from the S20 series and up, including some of the flip and fold phones. The easiest way to find out if your specific device supports eSIM is to go into your phone's settings and look under the cellular or mobile network section. If you see an option to add an eSIM or cellular plan, you're good to go. You can also directly check through Mint Mobile's website where they have a tool that verifies compatibility based on your phone model. Assuming your phone is eSIM ready, the next step is choosing your Mint Mobile plan. You can do this through their website or the Mint Mobile app. During checkout, you'll be asked how you want your plan delivered, so make sure to choose the eSIM option. This will make sure that you get everything digitally without waiting for physical shipping. Mint will then send you an activation code via email or text Next, you want to hold on to that. You'll need it in the next step. With your phone plan ready and the activation code in hand, it's time to activate. Start by downloading the Mint Mobile app, which is available on both the App Store and Google Play. Once installed, open the app, sign in with the info from your order, and tap the activation option. The app will prompt you to enter your activation code, and after that, it'll guide you through installing your eSIM. For most phones, it's as easy as tapping a few buttons. The eSIM gets installed directly onto your device, and your Mint service should kick in shortly after. After. If your phone doesn't automatically connect after everything is installed, try restarting it. Sometimes a quick reboot is all it takes for the new line to register. Once you're connected, you should see Mint Mobile listed as your carrier in the top corner of your screen, and you'll be able to make calls, send texts, and use data right away. Now, just in case things don't go perfectly, and hey, sometimes they don't, there are a few common issues you might run into. Double check that your phone is using the Mint line as the default for calls and data. If the activation code doesn't work, make sure you typed it in exactly as shown. If it still refuses to cooperate, Mint's customer support is actually very responsive and can help get things sorted quickly. And if you're getting no data or super slow speeds, you might need to enable data roaming or update your APN settings, both of which the app can walk you through. If you're already a Mint Mobile customer and you're currently using a physical SIM, you can still switch to eSIM if your phone supports it. Just open the Mint Mobile app and look for the SIM swap or replace SIM option. From there, you'll be able to install your new eSIM and retire the old plastic one. The process is pretty seamless and your number, plan, and account info all stay the same. Just make sure to back up your phone beforehand, especially if you're switching to a new device at the same time. Mint already offers some of the most affordable phone plans out there, and adding eSIM into the mix just makes the whole experience even smoother. Whether you're switching carriers or upgrading your setup, going the eSIM route with Mint is a no-brainer if your phone supports it. No plastic, no more waiting, just install, activate, and go. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions for me, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. Consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And don't forget about those deals in the description below. At any rate, though, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, make sure to take care.